What if the next time something broke around the house, all you had to do was take a picture of it, upload it to the web, and the artificial intelligence tell you exactly what's wrong and how to fix it? Well, you kind of can right now. We're gonna take a look at how well it works and see if it's worth using. I'm gonna give AI progressively more challenging pictures of home improvements that need to be made. And then we're gonna see if it's diagnosing those correctly. And then we'll also take a look at if it's giving us good advice as far as how to fix those things. We're gonna start out by asking Bard to create the list for us. Create me a list of DIY home repairs that includes two easy repairs, two medium, and two hard repairs, please. All right, so we've got four, four, and four. Not doing too good on the numbers, but maybe it's going for extra credit here. So I'm gonna start out here in chat GPT, attach images. I'm gonna start out with this one in the easy category. So I'm not gonna type anything. Let's just hit send here and see what we get. Okay, obviously a leaky faucet. This is an image of a faucet with a drop of water about to fall. How can I assist you further regarding this? Okay, interesting. Uh, let's see, how do I fix this? So it diagnosed it properly. It knows what's going on. Let's take a look at how it handles the repair. So turn off your water supply under the sink. Good. Uh, gather your tools, remove the faucet handle. There'll be a screw and it says it might be hidden. That's good. Inspect the mechanism, a cartridge, a stem, reassemble the faucet, turn on the water supply and check for leaks. Okay, that's not bad. All right, let's try the next image in the easy category. So this one here. Okay, so this is our broken drywall. Someone punched a hole or knocked furniture through the wall and it goes right into it. Here's what to do to patch it up. Wait, we're missing some steps here. Is it just me or did not give any backing? So this is saying just to throw it in there. Hmm, okay, that's not good. Okay, so it skipped a really major important part here. So it's gonna need some sort of support backing. So that's either gonna be some sticks, some, uh, you can even use paint sticks on there. You can even use other uh, drywall if you had to, but typically you're gonna use some small boards. Otherwise, if you just patch over it, it's gonna be very weak and more likely to punch through again later. So it's doing an okay job, but it's missing, at least in this case, one crucial step in there. Thin layer of joint compound over the patched area using a putty knife. Okay, so, and I have mixed opinions on that too, because really when you're um, doing any sort of a patch like this, unless it's teeny tiny, a putty knife is not what you want to use. You want to use a full knife for drywall. Usually it's going to be an 8, a 10, a 12 inch. It's going to make it a lot easier to blend in and feather into the existing drywall. Definitely some things that are kind of left out. This is kind of a drastically oversimplified process here that it's showing you, and I wouldn't really go off of that. All right, let's move on to our next couple. We're going to do these ones in Bard. And let's see what we've got here. Same thing, we can upload some images. So I'm gonna go back to this, to medium, and I don't even know what this first one is. Let's see. I'm just gonna put a question mark and that enables the submit button here. Oh, broken tile, okay. Let's see what it comes up with. Broken tile floor, tile is cracked in the middle, small piece missing. That's awesome that it figures all that out, right? So it doesn't mention anything here about using your spacers, which you probably do wanna do. Okay, not bad. It did, again, leave out a couple of main ingredients there, or main steps for the process, but overall, uh, not bad. So that's the medium one with Bard. Now let's try another one with Bard, another medium one here. Okay, we've got a clogged sink here, a full sink of nasty. Clogged kitchen sink with dirty water overflowing. A few things to unclog it yourself. So one, a plunger, some baking soda and vinegar, and then a drain snake. And this is the one I would usually go to first if you have access to something like this. It probably isn't a bad idea if you're pretty sure it's not a, a major clog to try some of the other ones, but again, your mileage may vary on that as well. Not bad, um, I do like it says that it says if you've tried all of the above and the clog's still not cleared, you need to call a plumber. And with all of these tips, just keep that in mind. There's a, lot, a level of DIY that you should research and try to understand and see if that's something you feel comfortable doing yourself. If you don't, call a professional, get them in. They know how to take care of this stuff. We're gonna move to our third AI engine to do the more complex stuff. This is Bing. So we're gonna upload our images. So we'll do a question mark again and submit. Uh, water heater, okay. All right, let's see what this is. Okay, I'm sorry, but I didn't understand your question. Could you please provide more details? Okay, that's interesting. So that's the first time it stumbled and it didn't kind of just try to guess at what we're going, what's going on here. How do I fix this? Let's see if that helps it. Okay, so it's kind of going through each of the things that you might need to replace, which is good because it's not always a full water heater replacement. Um, just for kicks here, 
And it does provide a video here, which is nice. I think I've seen this one actually. So let's take a look at what happens if it doesn't, uh, if it's not really fixable and we need to replace it. So let's try the image again. Add that image. I'm going to do the same one and say, how do I replace this? Now one thing I've noticed about all of these AI engines is that they're helpful in understanding the terminologies that are used. Sometimes you take a picture of something and you're like, I don't even know what this thing is called or what the terms are that I need to use to start searching. And so by using the image recognition, it can actually give you some insights into what the terms are that you need to look up so that you can try to solve whatever the issue is. So let's see what it, okay, so it's searching for how to replace a water heater. So the order is a little suspect here. So if you've got a gas water heater, this doesn't add up because then you've still got your gas heater burning while there's no water in the tank. So that's not good. Remove the old water. Wow, this is like super, they're making the sound really easy. Remove the old water heater, place the new water heater in position. Like it's just that easy. I don't know if I love that. It also skipped the fact that when you are taking out um, your water heater, you want to uh, let the pressure out. And so you want to make sure to open a sink nearby, ideally one that's on the same level or lower if you can. And that lets the pressure out of the tank. So yeah, definitely some things that were really glossed over here. So it does give you on the bright side a bunch of different uh, videos and a bunch of different um, links here, articles. Oh, there's my video. There you go. Nice. Okay, so I can walk you through that. So again, helpful, but make sure you're taking the time to watch through all of this stuff and do your homework on this because if you're just following these steps, you're going to be lost. Let's try our last one, uh, last one in the difficult or hard category. This is one from uh, Getty Images here. And I try to get all of these pictures that were realistic pictures, like ones you'd snap with your phone, not studio shots or anything like that. Um, and again, let's try the question mark and see if it can handle it or if I need to specify what I'm looking for here. Okay, I see that you have water damage and mold on your wall. Here are some simple steps you can take to fix this. Okay, perfect. Okay, again, this is really high level. Uh, it doesn't get you through uh, ventilation and drying the area out. You might need some blowers in there to help with that. There's a lot of pieces here that are not included, like what about your baseboard? What about your carpet if you have carpet there? I guess this one was tile, so that wouldn't necessarily be an issue. Uh, also, analyzing the uh, the green plate or the sill plate on the bottom, just make sure that that's in good shape still and doesn't need to be replaced. Is there rotting that happened to the dry, to the uh, framing behind it, anything like that? So there's like a lot that it kind of skipped over here. It did a pretty good job, but I think there are three key takeaways that we can see from the AI image of the, at least the DIY repairs here. First is AI can actually help you quite a bit if you have no idea where to start. So snap a picture of what you've got, load it up here to your favorite AI engine, and it will probably help you at least get a feel for what's going on. And that leads to number two, which is gonna help you with those terminologies. A lot of times in DIY, we've got these different systems that are, we're affecting, and a lot of times we just don't know what to search for. So it's gonna help us generate some of those terms so that we know how to better search and how to talk to a pro if we need to. And then thirdly, it's just that you don't trust this by itself. There's a lot of good information in here, but it's definitely skipping over steps and it's not a be all end all source for trying to fix things. Again, I think it's helpful, but never trust this on its own. Always do your homework. Don't trust a single source when it comes to doing a repair around your house like this, because you want to make sure that you're getting it done right. I'm Nils with Learn to DIY. Thanks for watching.